Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries present Truth for Growth a daily devotional program God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth Now Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God Warm greetings to you in the prayer answering name of the Lord Jesus Christ Prayer is the greatest investment of time. John Wesley said, God does nothing except in response to believing prayer. Prayer does not change God, but prayer changes him who prays. George Herbert said, Prayer should be the key of the day and the lock of the night. Prayer is aligning ourselves with the purposes of God. You may probably ask me which is the best time to pray. I would rather say there are only two best times to pray. One is when you feel like praying. When you feel like praying, nobody can stop you. The second best time to pray is when you don't feel like praying because that's a time the Lord has planned something very special for you, but the devil doesn't want you to pray at the time. Now for our today's morning devotion let's turn our bibles to Isaiah chapter 53 verse 11 He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied We all know that Isaiah chapter 53 is a messianic prophecy about the Lord Jesus Christ Many things are said about the Lord Jesus Christ in this one chapter but let's confine ourselves to one aspect of our Lord Jesus we see the example of our Lord Jesus as an intercessor it enlightens us on how we should intercede or travail in prayer for other people the amplified bible says he shall see the fruit of the travail of his soul and be satisfied friend like a mother who sees the fruit of her travail a baby and rejoices If we will travail in prayer we shall also see the fruit of our prayer though at times it may take time but we shall be satisfied dear child of god we pray but do we see its fruit do we find satisfaction in our prayer life if not it is i time we change our prayer pattern look at how the lord jesus christ prayed while he was on this earth Let's read Hebrews chapter 5 verse 7. Who in the days of his flesh when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. Yes, a travailing mother may have strong crying and tears before she can see the fruit and be satisfied. but when she sees the fruit of her travail a baby newly born all her tears will be turned into immense joy see what the lord jesus said about this in john's gospel chapter 16 and verse 21 a woman when she is in travail at sorrow because her hour is come but as soon as she is delivered of the child she remembereth no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world when a child is delivered a sorrow is replaced with great joy in the very same place of our travail when we travail and prevail in prayer god will send forth his answer miraculously and our sorrow will be replaced with immense joy in the very same place of our anguish in the very same place you are humiliated and despised god can exalt you and make you a mighty witness for god's glory when the people of israel came to a place called mara the lord did not take them to another place to give them sweet water the lord turned the bit of water mara into a sweet water in the very same place friend god can do the same thing for you but only one condition we must travail in prayer and prevail in our prayer life travailing in prayer 
was the experience of the early apostles too. In Colossians chapter 4 verse 12 we read that Epaphras was laboring fervently in prayers for the church. And in Romans chapter 15 verse 30 we see Apostle Paul asking the Romans to strive together in prayer for him. Therefore, let us travail in prayer till we see the fruit of our prayer and be satisfied. God bless you and God be with you. Amen.